Hi there, Scorpio. Welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. I'm going to be doing your monthly uh, forecast, tarot forecast for September. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a Celtic cross, and I'm going to get to your reading right away. Okay. First off, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse position. Next, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright position, followed by the Six of Cups in the re or upright position. And next, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, followed then by the Major Arcana, the Star, in the upright position. Next, we have the Six of Swords in the upright position, followed then by the Three of Cups in the upright position. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright position. That's your card, Scorpio. Uh, followed by the Five of Pentacles in the upright position. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and get started interpreting your read. Um, first of all, we have your overall energy sort of coming into the month of September is that of the Two of Swords in the reverse position. If I remember correctly, in August, weren't uh, Scorpios dealing with the Two of Swords? I think it came up a couple, couple of times in the upright position. Now it's actually in the reverse position. Way to go. There's progress there, Scorpio. <laughs> well, overall uh, energy coming into the month of the Two of Swords, perhaps some of you have made a decision. It looked like a lot of Scorpios were um, trying to settle on what to do, uh, which way to go one way or the other, maybe didn't want to look at the options and things like that, um, or just didn't really know quite which way to you know, take this situation. But it looks like for me, the Two of Swords in the reverse position indicates there was a decision made. Um, it can often uh, point back to the Ace of Swords when it's in the reverse position, which is um, clarity. So usually for me, the Two of Swords in the reverse position indicates a decision was made, maybe based on the fact that there was some new information that came to light or clarity that came to light. So um, this is really wonderful news, I guess, because it shows the uh, progression. Something has changed in the month of September, or maybe even towards the end of August for some of you, maybe this has already happened. Um, now it's paired with the uh, energies of the Ten of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful energy. Ten of Cups is one, one really nice um, card on the emotional level. It's cups, so it's dealing with our emotions and things like that. This is a card of emotional fulfillment. Um, but this is emotional fulfillment with others. It's almost like, um, you know, the happy family card where everybody's sort of getting along. It can sometimes represent... Um, people getting together say for say a family reunion or something like that where it, this is a card of success and uh, and emotional abundance like success on the emotional level and abundance um, on the emotional level so it's very very nice energy to see um, in the past here we have uh, the six of cups in the upright position this is more of a little bit distant past uh, where we um, and it's a card of the past, ironically. So perhaps for some of you, um, you had a reunion with someone from your past and uh, it was a good experience for some of you. You were just reminiscing about the past and, and you're still feeling the emotional uh, happiness about that, about the situation. Whereas either um, you were reunited with someone from your past or um, and you know things were just working out beautifully on the emotional level or like I said it could just be that um, the past energies made you feel really really good and uh, high on the emotional level and those energies are still with you they came up in your read so the energies are still there now but this is more uh, foundation distant past um, now we move into the energies of the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. These are energies that you 
they're still a part of you, but they're starting to wane now. They're starting to uh, filter out because you're moving out of these energies moving forward. So this would be more of a recent past situation. This is the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. When the Ten of Wands is in the upright position, this speaks of somebody who's carrying too many responsibility, too much of a heavy load, and it's almost too much to bear. In the reverse position, this I always prefer to see this card in the reverse position because this indicates we're coming out of that um, uh, feeling of heavy burden of, of having too much on our plate to deal with and we're releasing some of the the load uh, maybe delegating some duties to others and things like that so that we can you know keep our strength and reserve kind of up so these energies are now waning and they're moving into the energies of the six of swords in the upright position the six of swords in the upright position generally uh, speaks of someone who's moving away from troubled waters. They're, um, sometimes this can be the card of a, of a vacation or retreat or just sort of going somewhere, maybe taking a weekend and, and um, uh, just going and doing some R&R. &R. Um, could be a weekend away at the cabin or something like that or even a week, it could be a longer journey. This card just represents a journey. Sometimes it's just a journey, internal journey, just getting away from our troubled mind and thoughts. So that's really nice energy to see. We're releasing some burdens and uh, some of these heavy burdens and moving into the energies of the Six of Cups, which is moving away from troubled waters. If you were dealing with uh, troubled situations or things that were causing emotional turmoil, we're now moving on from all of that. So this is really nice, and this is the immediate future. This is something you'll be going into right away. In your possible future, you have Major Arcana, the star in the upright position. This card um, is really beautiful energy. This card uh, mainly speaks of hope and inspiration. It's almost like when we get inspired by something, it could be for some of you, maybe you will, you know, watch a movie or see a play or or hear a piece of music that really inspires you and really uh, gives you kind of hope for the future. Or you could be involved in a situation or even a person that uh, you really admire, you know, they're doing something really fantastic and, and it gives you hope and, and inspiration. That's really beautiful energy to see. So far, so good, Scorpio. <laughs> now, in uh, the next card you have is the Three of Cups in the upright position. This is where you're coming from internally. This is in the month of September. This is the card of... Um, a happy social life. This card represents um, feeling good when it's in the upright position. It's feeling good uh, about our social circles or our, you know, family cliques, anything where we're having a click, even with co-workers where we're just really genuinely having a good time with them. This basically card, this card basically speaks of friends, friends who are in our lives, our social circles. And um, this is interesting because um, the energy of Virgo is Scorpio's house of friendship. So in the, the Virgo month, which is September, friends are going to be important to us in our social circles. Uh, as, as a Scorpio, these things are gonna be very important to us. So it's good to see that this is in the upright position because that does indicate that we are getting along well with our very close cliques. So that's really nice to see. And that, that's how we're gonna be feeling internally. Now, people and environment, we have the uh, major arcana, the death in the upright position. You only have two arcana in this read, so there's some intense energies around, but they're not really, really intense. So, a little bit of strong energies. But the death card, this is your card, Scorpio. Uh, death represents the death and rebirth and transformation. I always like to see this card. This is... Um, this is a card that in the upright position represents uh, the death of the old, the rebirth of the new. So as a people environment card, it could be for some of you, maybe you are releasing certain people or certain situations in your environment. You're letting them go. You're bringing them to their final conclusion in order to rebuild on something new. 
the reason why this card death represents uh, Scorpio is because of the death and renewal we're known as Scorpios we're known uh, um, as the uh, Phoenix rising from the ashes right from the rubble of what was coming out and uh, being reborn and um, doing something extraordinary <laughs> Uh, from the devastation. Uh, this card to me doesn't represent devastation by any means. It just means that basically something and because it's in the people and environment, it could be something in your environment. For some, it's going to play out differently for all of you because it is just a general read, right? So uh, for some of you, it could be playing out in the realm of work. Maybe some of you just needed to put an end to a, a certain job and uh, or even a career and then rebuild on something brand new for others of you it could be playing out with um, your with people in your environment maybe there are certain uh, aspects of relationships that you needed to sort of transform put an end to the old way of being and you know come out again but either way people are seeing you as someone who is transforming is cutting out the old and bringing in the new. So it's really good energy to have, I think, especially, I think it's more important that it's in the people and environment because this is how people are viewing you and this is how you are dealing with your environment and you're dealing with it correctly because sometimes the, you know, out with the old, in with the new, we have to start fresh sometimes. And it looks like it's a much needed start because this is major arcana, so, this is intense and it was probably much needed on some level. It's just the old past to go and then to make way for the new. Now, moving on to hopes and fears, you have the Five of Pentacles, which I would definitely say is probably a fear. Maybe some of you are fearful of putting an end to some things because the Five of Pentacles can represent feeling left out in the cold. Maybe for some of you, say, who are shutting down a lot of things in your environment maybe you're afraid that that's going to leave you feeling left out in the cold for others of you this could be representing on a financial level maybe fearing um, a lack of finances not having enough to be able to do the things that you want to do so but keep in mind that is just a fear right and to end the read we have the page of wands in the upright position he's been coming up for a lot of different uh, signs today the Page of Wands, it is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it is representing a person, it could be representing someone of the fire element, which is uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be that for some of you, you may be dealing with a, a fire sign, and this person is coming in with a message for you or an invitation to maybe take you out on an adventure or a date or something. For others of you, it could just be representing the qualities of the Page of Wands, which he is just some, he's a messenger and uh, he's coming in with a message towards you. So perhaps uh, some of you Scorpios have a message on its way. I think it would probably wouldn't reach till more later September, later in the month, towards the end of the month even. But uh, this is cl this card is closing out the read, so um, there is a message of something new and exciting on its way to you. So that is that is really cool. <laughs> I want to see what October brings. <laughs> There's definitely a message, um, and it's it's positive because it's in the upright position. Uh, for some of you, it could be a message you've been waiting for uh, from someone. It could just be a message about a uh, brand new. Uh, adventure it could be a message about uh, a job or all kinds of things that you could be waiting for I hope this reading helped you and it resonated with you and if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe I am doing personal readings the details are in the about section and until next time bye